Hey everyone, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Benedict. Merry Christmas everybody. It's uh, Christmas Eve. I will be on the air tonight at 6 and 11 tracking Santa. Check me out because I'll have an awesome Christmas suit on. Um, obviously I'll talk about a little bit of weather going into Christmas Day, but everyone's talking about this late week system. The, the, the honest thing to tell you is that we don't know a lot right now. There's a threat for winter weather coming up going into New Year's weekend, but specifics, locations, amounts, absolutely no clue right now because there's just so many details to work out it's really just about the threat right now as we get closer we'll know more of the details but it doesn't look like a huge storm the concern really for me is going to be whether it's ice snow or sleet that's the problem it's not purely a snow event here's the a look at the map right now you can see we've got a reinforcing shot of cold air and a kind of almost like an alberta type clipper coming down through the ohio valley there it is this is going to be the snow that moves into the north carolina mountains tonight um and again it's not going to be a big amount even in the mountains this is going to be a pretty light snow maybe a dusting to an inch above 3500 feet but the bigger story is the cold air behind it you see all this cold air bottled up in canada this is not only the story for christmas day but this this is the story going into the rest of the week, which sets the stage for our potential winter weather. You see this cold air up in Canada. I mean, that is a lot of cold air, folks. We're talking temperatures well below zero, 20, 30 below. That Arctic air is the reason that we're going to be set up for at least a potential for maybe a couple wintry events, because once the cold air gets here, it's going to be sticking around for a while. So let's, <coughs> excuse me. Um, let me uh, get choked up there. Let me talk about what's going to happen tonight first. Here's our clipper system. And again, the model is kind of overdoing some of this rain east of the mountains. But you can see this clipper system is going to move in tonight. And there'll be basically what we call northwest flow snow. And again, not bad. Could be some burst of uh, some good snow here in the North Carolina mountains. You could see that heading in from the northwest. And again, those western facing slopes as we go into Christmas morning. Let me back this up a little bit. I'll stop this uh, Christmas morning. Um, right around 7 a.m. So you can see the snow pretty much shuts off overnight. It's short-lived. It's an overnight event. So you'll wake up tomorrow morning, um, maybe a little bit of snow on the ground. Let me see how much snow we're spitting out here. Again, not huge amounts. You kind of get the idea here. I'll go into the afternoon real quickly, um, and we'll stop this. And this is the snow depth I expect on Christmas morning. You can see in the mountains, maybe a dusting to an inch. Um, even Boone might get a dusting. But you can see the higher amounts will be up to the northwest. So that's the system we're talking about for basically Christmas morning. Not a big deal. It's about the cold air that's going to be in place. Now let's start talking about the next system, which is going to be coming down, um, going into uh, the end of the week. So we talked about this earlier. We've got the cold air, the Arctic air, and I'm going to go out into the week here, and we'll go to about Wednesday morning here. Um, and I'm going to pause this on Wednesday morning. Look at all this cold air coming down. Just a boatload of Arctic air spilling into the country. And you can see right over the Midwest, there's a big area of high pressure. So imagine right there, the isobars show this, the flow of air around high pressure is like this. So you can see the cold air on the east side of that high is gonna be pumping down here as we go through Wednesday, Thursday, into Friday. And that's when things start to get interesting because at the same time, we're gonna have some moisture building over Texas heading our way as we go into Friday morning. So this is Thursday. Um, we'll go through Thursday, and again, nothing's really going to start Thursday. I think it's Thursday night into Friday um, that we're looking at, and we'll go into Thursday night. So you see the setup here, pretty classic, what we call cold air damming, high pressure over the northeast, wedge of cold air getting pushed down, and we've got moisture coming in from the south. So notice the wedge setup, the cold air is trapped east of the mountains. It's actually warmer over here in Tennessee where it's rain. So this is the good old-fashioned wintry mix setup here. Um, and again, what you're looking at, the orange is sleet, um, the blue is snow, and the, uh, the basically the red is kind of ice. So don't get caught up. This is not exactly where it's going to be. Um, it could be anywhere in here. Because remember, you're talking about literally tenths of a degree um, difference at not only the surface, but at four or 5,000 feet off the ground. Um, just to kind of show you, this is the sounding from the GFS model. And you can see down at the ground, the temperatures are probably overdone. And one thing about the GFS model, it's got a cold bias at the surface. So it's probably below freezing down here. But you see just above, about a mile up, the temperature is close to freezing, maybe slightly above. This is the zero degree line we look at. And we call this a warm nose because if you look at the profile, it kind of looks like a nose like this. Um, and this temperature here, I mean, if it changes a tenth, a half a degree, that's the difference between sleet, freezing rain, and snow. And the models just, they can't do that. They, they don't know this five days out. <laughs> it's hard to do this a day out. So that's why I wouldn't buy too much, you know, where these exact rain, snow, sleep, freezing rain lines are. 
in amounts? No idea right now. It's basically about the threat is there. So then this is just one model, by the way. And this goes into Friday morning and the system's out. So everybody thinking this is going to be a big storm. It's not a big storm because it's out pretty quickly. The problem is if it's ice, it could be a big impact event because um, just a little bit of ice, even freezing drizzle, causes a big issue. And you could see it moving out. Just to give you a, a, an idea of what the European model says going into Friday, this is the um, same area, same time frame. We're going into Friday morning. You can see what it's depicting is a lot more ice and a lot less snow. Um, it's a little bit quicker and it's even on Friday night, it's gone by Saturday morning. So you're not looking at huge amounts of snow, but a lot of ice mixed in. And just to show you, this is what I look at a lot called the ensemble mean. This is taking all 51 variations of the European model, whittling out all the extremes and giving you kind of an average. And you can see this is the snowfall being spit out right now. That, that's not a huge amount, um, and that's, that doesn't even count in mixing or melting. So it, this doesn't have the makings of a big snowstorm for North Carolina, maybe for Virginia North, but for us, this is the concern is definitely going to be ice. So you can see on Thursday, uh, the threat is near zero. We go into Thursday night, Friday morning, and again, remember, this is the probability of wintry weather, not probability of snow, probability of snow, ice, sleet. That's what this is, and this is just the probability, not the amounts. So you can see the 30% probability showing up in the favored areas that typically the cold air gets trapped. In Charlotte, it's still around 10%. But this does linger into Friday night into Saturday as the storm moves up. And then by Sunday morning, the mess is kind of out of here. So that's just a quick little update. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this uh, specifics of it, but the setup is there. Just know starting really Thursday night into Friday is when we have the potential for some wintry weather. Um, high temperatures are probably going to be in the mid to upper 30s both days. And depending on the surface temperature, that will determine what kind of mess we could see around here. So I'll have updates throughout the next couple of days. Enjoy your Christmas. We've got time to track this. this isn't going to sneak up on us. We know the threat is there. Um, so if you have any plans on Friday into early Saturday, just take that into account that there could be some wintry weather. And it could be ice. It's not primarily snow. Um, I wish this was an all-snow event. This is the good old-fashioned Carolina messy setup here where we could have a little bit of everything. I'll see you tonight at 6 and 11 on NBC Charlotte tracking Santa. And of course, I'll be talking about this storm as we get ready for the rest of the week. Merry Christmas, everybody, and have a great evening.